free throw line too much. Uh, just what was your takeaway and the difference in the game? Um, we've just been fouling too much. Um, <clears throat> that's a lot of my fault. I'm uh, replaying one in my head where I uh, fouled Christian McCaffrey in the post. That was just a stupid foul. Um, and that's, that's the kind of stuff that's costing us right now. Um, because when we play defense solid and, um, and don't foul, I think we're the best defense in the country. And the stats show that too. So um, we just got to clean that up. Now you guys haven't been in a lot of close games. You see, there's been blowouts kind of one way or the other. So what do you think you guys can take away from this experience when it gets tight down the stretch? Just fouling. I mean, we let, uh, what's his name? Perkins. Have 30, yeah, Perkins have 32. Um, and he was hot from the mid-range, but we'll take that. Like, that's, that's what our defense is designed to do. We gave him, like, 16 free throws. That's what hurt us. So um, he can make mid-range shots all day. And if, if he beats us, then we tip our hat. But, like, the fouling is what was killing us. How much, if at all, did that foul trouble in the first half and going to the bench affect your rhythm? Because like, you were cooking mm -hmm. before that. I mean, I wouldn't say it affected my rhythm. It just played less minutes. Like, um, uh, and then in the second half, uh, I did that stupid foul on, on McCaffrey. Like, it's, it's those kind of plays. Like, when you have a close loss, like, for me at least, I just replay certain certain plays in my head. I missed the rebound that Chris Murray got, and they kicked it off for three. Those are the kind of things that I'm – I let it go after about a day, but I'm just replaying my mind. I'm just like, man, I, I hate that that happened. So, yeah. Now, for about the last month or so, man, your play has been outstanding. What do you attribute this to? I mean, you're just kind of the go-to guy right now for, on the team. Uh, I'm just trying to stay aggressive. Um, uh, my body's feeling a lot better. I'm still fasting. I figured out that stuff I was allergic to. Um, there's just a lot of things. Um, like, I would really just say I've never felt better physically. Um, my mentality is pretty much stayed constant for the last two or three years, so I just feel better. That's really all it is. I know it's about winning, but Illinois has really showcased your skill set since you could come to school here. Um, so what does that mean for you? I mean, you could have won anywhere, but you came here and Coach Underwood was really letting people see how well you play and what you can do. Mm -hmm. I just love how Coach Underwood, he, he trusts me, he lets me play. Um, there was a, a shot in the first half where I did kind of a step back on McCaffrey, and I like hit mostly backboard, I think, and uh, came to the bench. He didn't say anything to me. I know he didn't pull me out because of that shot. It was just somebody was coming for me anyway. So he just trusts me. He doesn't, um, uh, yeah, he really just trusts me, and it makes me feel a lot more free out there. Coach said the offense was really good today. I mean, it feel that way. I mean, you and Epps and, mm -hmm. and the day jam, you had as frustrating yeah. as the result is. You, you take some confidence out of this? Yeah, we couldn't ask for anything more, really, on both sides of the ball, except for the fouling. So... It really just comes down to that, and we're going to fix that. Hey, Jaden just seems, I know we've talked a lot about the maturity, but he seems like an incredibly mature, like his game is mature, not just mm -hmm. him. Like, how much does that help you? Like, those big moments after runs, he stabilized. Like, what does that say mm -hmm. about him, I guess? Me and him, I feel like we have, like, similar mindsets in the games. Like, we don't get too high, too low. Like, we're just chilling out there almost. And um, it's, it's pretty impressive to see a freshman like that. Um, I know he played in a lot of big games in high school, but uh, his stability for us has been huge. And I always talk about those abs he's got. He's got <laughs> some unbelievable abs, and it helps him get to the rim at will. So, yeah. For, for a freshman, you mentioned he's steady. Um, mm -hmm. How do you think he's got that, or how have you seen that develop? I think he's just he's got a very simple game, but a very tough one to guard. Like, he, he knows who he is on the court, and he sticks to those things. And um, he's super coachable. Uh, like he, he's not he's not the type of guy to talk back. He just tries to fix it almost a little too much sometimes because he's such a talented player. We want him to be aggressive, but um, he's just a, a great talent and he does what he does. And it's a very simple plan for him, and it makes him be able to not overthink things. I think he's kind of taken over the sweet guard role the last month. How have you seen him grow and take that role? Yeah, I just keep encouraging him to be aggressive because I mean I tell him too. I'm like, when you shoot it, it's better than when I shoot it because when I shoot it there's one less offensive rebound there. When you shoot it, I'm crashing, and we're going to get that rebound. So just fire away, Bill, and um, stuff like that. And now I think he's really um, embodying it, and he, he's just getting more confidence. He's older now. He's been here for uh, over half a season. So, yeah, I'm really impressed. You guys have maybe had the fouling issues like this since the Northwestern game. I mean, do you have any feel for why it kind of cropped up? Um, I'm kind of a repeat offender, So, but everybody else um, – I think they're just they're just a really good offensive team. We're trying to like uh, take away their their stuff, and um, I don't know. I think it's just one of those games we're gonna learn learn from and not do that again. I mean, is it just may sting you a little more like 
Perkins goes to the line 16 times this yeah. half and, and makes 15 of them, just like mm-hmm. just knowing that you're giving. Those that that right. was the huge problem. I mean, him him getting hot from mid range, it is what it is. Like we're living with that. But uh, the 15 or 16 free throws is what. I mean, I know that's going to keep Coach Underwood up, so we can't we can't allow that to happen.